Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain Television. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, arrived today in Thailand, leading Bahrain's delegation on behalf of His Majesty the King to take part in the second Asia Cooperation Dialogue Summit in Bangkok. He was received by Thailand's Prime Minister, Wesano Karea, the Kingdom's Ambassador to Thailand, Adol Sata, and senior officials. His Royal Highness affirmed the deep-rooted relations between the two countries in all fields and the need to bolster these relations to benefit both countries. And earlier today, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa left Bahrain for the Kingdom of Thailand, leading Bahrain's delegation on behalf of His Majesty the King to take part in the second Asia Cooperation Dialogue Summit in Bangkok. Upon his departure, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister was bid farewell by several state officials and Thai consul to Bahrain. Personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met at the court of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince today a delegation representing the social and spiritual Hindu organization, that's BAPS, accompanied by a delegation from Bahrain National Hospital. His Highness conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the members of BAPS and his appreciation for their efforts and contributions in the social and humanitarian fields, as well as spreading the values of love, virtue, and forgiveness. He affirmed that the Kingdom is proud to be a model of racial and religious coexistence. He noted that Bahrain has been a cradle of civilization for centuries and attributed the Kingdom's tolerance to its friendly people. His Highness commended the Indian community and their contributions in the development of the Kingdom. For their part, the delegation expressed thanks and appreciation for His Highness's warm reception and for His Majesty the King's constant care and support of BAPS. Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa met today with the Turkish President Rajab Tayyip Erdogan during an official visit to the Republic. The Deputy Premier delivered a written letter to the Turkish President from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. In the letter, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride in the existing deep-rooted Bahraini-Turkish relations, hailing Turkey's role at both regional and international levels. His Royal Highness also affirmed Bahrain's keenness on further developing cooperation with Turkey to achieve mutual interests for the benefits of both countries and their peoples. During the meeting, the Turkish President commended His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's wise vision in dealing with regional and international affairs. He expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahrain's leadership and people for supporting legitimacy in Turkey. President Erdogan stressed Turkey's keenness on developing its ties with Bahrain in all sectors, wishing further success and prosperity for the kingdom. The Deputy Premier went on to commend the development of the brotherly bilateral relations, affirming Bahrain's keenness on continuing to enhance all levels of cooperation with Turkey. Education Minister Dr. Majid al Noemi led the delegation of the Ministry of Education to participate in the Teachers' Forum Kudwa, which means role model held in the UAE under the patronage of Abu Dhabi Crown Prince, UAE Armed Forces Deputy Supreme Commander, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. UAE's Education Minister Hussein Al Hamadi delivered a speech discussing the development program in the sector. The forum also included discussions on enhancing the status of the teacher in appreciation to all of them and topics on coping with scientific and technological development in the education sector in order to achieve further development. Dr. al Noemi praised the proposals, opinions and future plans presented in the forum, hailing the level of cooperation reached by Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates in all fields, especially education, which affirms the bilateral, deep-rooted relations. Senior figures from both the public and private sectors gathered at Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industries headquarters Beit al Tijar today for the landmark Labour Environment in Bahrain Forum. More on this story now from Danielle Deporto. 
The Labour Environment in Bahrain Forum was organised following the 2016 Government Forum held last month under the auspices of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, at which the importance of the private sector in driving economic growth was stressed. Today's event was chaired by prominent businesswoman and BCCI board member Afnan Aziani and Sheikh Hind bin Salman Al Khalifa, head of the BCCI's Public Affairs Committee and was addressed by Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zair Aziani, Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Esam Khalaf, Minister of Labour and Social Development and Chairman of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil Hamedan, and CEO of the Bahrain Economic Development Board, Khaled al Ramehi. We are gathering today to discuss the environment of work in Bahrain, and uh, we are also setting uh, a series of uh, meetings between the government and the private sector to activate the dialogue, and which should be ongoing, and also to activate the private-public partnership. Uh, this is, these are the pillars or the main points that His Royal Highness uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa has touched on uh, during the latest uh, government gathering which took place on the 18th of September. And they are also the pillars of the uh, economic vision for the Kingdom of Bahrain which emphasizes that the private sector should be the engine of growth for the economy. Enhancing the role of the private sector in the development of Bahrain's economy is a cornerstone of the National Economic Strategy, Vision 2030. These formal talks will enhance the way the government guides and supports private sector activities as the kingdom shifts towards a knowledge-based economy, boasting top international scientific research, technology and innovation. This is the first in many series to come, I hope. The time has been divided equally, equal time for the government to talk about the future plans and uh, the rest of the time will be for questions and answers uh, from the, uh, the audience or the participants. And even the seating was done in a round table to emphasize this new spirit that we want to, uh, to encourage in Bahrain and uh, to start this national uh, dialogue between uh, the the, the, the partners. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle DePorto. Details of the upcoming 6th edition of the Business Roundup on the Tourism Sector event, to be held on the 16th of this month at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Centre, were revealed today during a press conference led by senior officials of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, and the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEA. These government bodies, alongside the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the Bahrain Economic Development Board, and the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, will be participating in the event. Various government programs and projects designed to boost the tourism sector will be presented, and a number of investment opportunities for local and international investors will be exhibited. Also during today's press conference, the details of the first official BCCI governmental joint venture were revealed. Part of the development of tourism in Bahrain will be a, a project jointly done by the Ministry and the Chamber for the development of the old souks of Manama and Maharak. We're going to start with Manama uh, and the idea of the project is that one mile, one square mile from Bab el Bahrain towards Sheikh Abdullah Road will be developed into a very lively zone where people can go and in, the, in daytime and evenings to shop and entertain themselves, there will be restaurants and, and cafes and there will be directions for these old, uh, the old uh, souk uh, defining the gold market, the spices market, uh, clothes and so many other functions that used to be alive in the past. We're not in competition with malls, we're adding a new dimension.